Yeah, all proceeds again going to go to charity. Yes, um, we will let you know when these um, pictures are available. I'm waiting for Steve to get back to me because he needs to sign some. Um, but what I can say, the pictures are absolutely mint. They're all signed by the team. Yeah, oh, the mint, mate. Yeah, it it's the one where they got the, the banner at the back of oh, all the clouds great, on the pitch. So if you're a fan and you want one of them, we're going to do it. We're going to raffle it. Or? We're going to what we're going to do. We're going to auction one. Yeah, we're going to raffle one, and then we're going to donate one to the club to the museum. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. So that that's the I think thing. He's on it? that picture, isn't he? He is. There's yeah. quite a lot of people on the pit. I'm sure the law. I think he's not on it. Who? Baz. Baz and Steph. <laughs> yeah, it's only picture them, not on. <laughs> I think he won't be happy with that, will he? I know. Well, that's a put him in. We'll have to. Yeah, we'll have to do. <laughs> you know, like me put them little squares on yeah. Baz and Steph. We'll have to get uh, someone to uh, put them in, won't we? Yeah. So we're not going to do predictions this week because it's cup. It's cup, it's cup weekend, week. Yeah, we're not so... interested in that. All we're interested in everyone getting. Behind the team tonight at the AJ Bell. Yeah. Doesn't matter what your concerns are about the name change for the time being. Just bear with us and we can get this sorted out. But we've name. got it's to get happening. behind the team. It's not happening. I've been telling you this. It's not happening. This is why I've kept quiet about it, but I know it's not happening. It ain't, it ain't going to happen. So, up yours. Anyway. And we have got a million. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be here <laughs> next, next, it'll be next week. Next week. That's um, all I'm saying. Yeah, so listen, so yeah, that's the thing what we're doing for the charities, so please, you know... Yeah, support them, get down to our gig, we're having it here now, we're this time. We're going to have it here, we're going to get a big tent outside, yeah. etc. We'll, we'll, we'll post it there, we'll We'll, we'll let you know on the details on that, but it's yeah. going to be a massive gig this year. We've got a gig coming up on the 1st of July for Fear Paul Day, where the best local bands in Salford and Manchester will be playing at the uh, Baton Aerodrome so make sure you get down there support that you know we're backing it Miley Music Studios are backing it it's, back, it's funded by GMP so for councils backing it so we have got the support nowadays do you know it's what I mean Baton Airport in that Baton Airport yes, yes. you're yep. going to do a bit of comparing with me I'm afraid so yeah good lad good lad and I think Ryan's so. comparing as well, as well as playing on the day so you can get down there you can see our very own cinnamon dinner you can see Beth McCroy it's going to be a great day that 1st yeah. of July 2 quid to get in like I'm going to say, it's going to be a musical mystic of entertainment. Bez is doing the DJing. You're getting little Addy Coleman doing it. Well, big Addy Coleman. He's going to do a little bit. Right. It's going to be all the best DJs in and around Manchester will be doing a slop. So it's going to be a great day, that one, mate. Yeah, and and then we'll have one a fortnight later, I'm thinking. Eh? And you can come and say hello to me and you. Yes, you can even punch me in the face if you want. Are you going to do the old lotto? Yes, let's do the lotto old time for the lotto if... Uh, Stuart, Stuart, what's Stuart's second name? Pen it. Yep. If you're listening, Stuart, I know I'm a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> right, the thousand pound jackpot winner has been won by a darn car, Michael of Grange Avenue. Well, the walkabout meal for two has been won by a Caroline Derbyshire of Gilderbrook Road. The castle in the air at the chill fast, you're not going to believe this. Right. A meal for two, winner can choose any meal from their choice from the full menu as win one by a Mr. Jason Carter. Is that you, Carter? You <laughs> quite, is that Jason? <laughs> yeah. Is that Mr. Carter? Hey, what's I don't know. Oh, you're not going to believe this know, one. I know, I know. Oh, this it. one gets even better. The Bellevue Cinnamon tickets has been won by a Jay Piggott. I wonder oh, if it's any relation is to that Mr. John Piggott? Piggott? Mr. John Piggott. It Piggott. looks Piggott. like yeah. Ebden Avenue. The Ooh. 250 pound has been won by Jay Wilson of Win- Wansfield Place. The 125 quid has gone to a Joe w- Wadesden of Sinsley Courts. The 1500 pound jackpots roll over extra draw has not been won. So next week it goes to two grand. Right, Ooh. because it's the start of the month, you get your monthly winners. The annual membership at the gym at the AJ Belt has been won by a Mrs. N. Smith of Yesterday's Drive. So well done to you, Mrs. Smith. Well done, Mrs. Smith. The Morrison's £200 shopping voucher June winner has been won by a Mrs. J. Hartley. The Family Fun Day at the Hard Rock Cafe has been won by a K. Anderson of Pendlecroft Avenue. Well done. The Cannon Barge Experience has been won by a Mr. A. Matthews of Chapel Road. Ooh. Sue Evans has won the... Two adult main meals with drinks. That's, I think it looks like a Bernie Inn or something like that. Ooh. Wagon Manor, meal for two, voucher for 50 quid, has been won by the Cricketers Arms on Manchester Road. The meal for two at the line bar has been won by an armour Rowley. If your name's been mentioned in any of them, congratulations from all us here at the Sounds of Salford. Right! I've got some special news for you. Go on. If you're on the door, yeah. And add up for a bit of cash. Yeah. You want a bit of beer money? Yeah. Right. The Red Devil's Lucky Lotto 
require a part-time collector in the early area. Ooh. But, not only that, what? there's also other areas available. Ooh. Collecting from an already established around within walking distance of your house, Ooh. one or two evenings a week, approximately four to six hours. There's more hours available for the right person. The package includes five to seven pound an hour, approximate. So that means five to seven, that means it's cash in hand. So you don't have to tell okay, a doll. Yes. Don't tell the doll. These bonuses for how many doors you knock on, how much you get. We can even do the, uh, what's it, training if you want. Do you want to do training? No, I can't be mad. Okay, then. But you also get Super League match tickets, full trainings given, and for further information, contact the Lucky Devils Lotto Office on 0161 872 53 Or you can email lee.cummins at reddevilsrugby.co.uk. And that go. completes this week's Lucky Devils Lotto. Okay, can I just do a special shout out to my dad whose birthday it was yesterday? So yes, happy birthday. So happy dad. birthday. 65 yesterday, you old bastard. Yes, um, uh, drop the language. Okay, kids listen. Sorry, uh, can I wish my son a happy birthday for Friday? Yes, which one, Mark? Mark, yeah, yes. Mark will be 24, I think. 24, yeah, and yeah. He, uh, I'll tell you what, Mark, you went right up in my estimations at the Uddersfield Awakening. <laughs> And can he also <laughs> wish his girlfriend a happy birthday whose birthday is on Saturday? Yes, so uh, it looks like they'll be partying all weekend. Yes, and uh, I want to wish all the dads a very happy Father's Day for yes. this Sunday. Happy birthday to our don't, to 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 uh, don't forget to get your, um, your Gaz O'Brien signed pictures here to make a great Father's Day yes. present to your dad if he's a Salford fan. You can call in the dog and pick him up. Ten yep. pound, only £10. Everything's going to St Anne's Hospice, so. which is a great local cause in Salford. Yep. You've got, you know, they need 16 grand a day to get by and the government only gives them four. Well, exactly. So they've got to raise £12,000. Yeah. Speaking of the government, I don't want to go into that. No, we're not going can into just, any can government. Can I just talk. send that, obviously, what's been happening again in in the in this world of ours, the world we live in, the wicked world we live in. Yes. Um, it's not been a pleasant few weeks, It's it? not, mate, but can I just, and I know it's going on a different line, but I, the, the emergency services have been at their yeah. absolute best, haven't they, mate? You mate. can't, you, you know can't, what I mean? Not. You just... You know, they've had to deal all with I'm this say horrific, is, horrific fire. All I'm going to say is the numbers have been cut to dramatic levels and they've been there. When we've needed them, you've had the police, you've had the firemen and you've had the ambulance yeah. service. So big up if you work for any of them services. Yeah, we I, really do I, respect you in on the sounds of something. Well, I think everyone in, in, in the country respects I mean, that <laughs> just I know it's going off rugby a little bit, but, you know, we, these things are happening this day and age and, it, you know, it comes in freeze, unfortunately. That fire was absolutely horrendous, Horrific. you know. Yeah. And them guys, them firemen going in there, not knowing what they're facing, yeah. a bit like they the go. twin towers. You know what I mean? They're going yeah. into massive, something, massive putting their lives at risk. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, it's, and, and I look at our government and I think you shower the shites. Yeah. You're cutting back. You're cutting back on 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 our NHS. You're cutting back on the fire brigade. You're cutting back on the police. Uh, Etc. And, and and I just think I just think you need to really give your head to wobble. Yeah. Instead of instead of supporting these assholes who are in jail, i.e. L, uh, Lee Rigby's killers, who it costs the government two hundred and fifty thousand pound a year to keep them, get rid of them, lethal injection, hang them, do what the fuck you want with them, <laughs> throw them in the river for me. They're in there, right? Get them in there and give. I can say I can say what I want, mate. I'm not asked to, mate. I'm not interested. I'm just telling the truth, right? If you don't like the truth, add is deal right. with it. Can we just say this as well? If you're not listening to straight from the fans' mouth, do yourselves a favour. Listen to Devil in Detail. Yeah, they're, uh, it's they're, a great show. That it really is a great show. Uh, Robin Rob and Paul. Than us, we just Rob and Paul. They interview people, not Robbie Paul. Rob and Paul. Yeah, Rob and Paul. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they really do do a great show. So make sure you listen to them. It's a cracking show. It talks all about Salford, similar to us. And uh, you know, make sure you tune into them. Anything. Yeah, so let's get behind the boys tonight. Yes, raise the noise levels to another level. Yeah. Right, I'm going to start it off now, and I want you to sh- just follow my lead. Salford! 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, until next week, or if we win tonight, if we win tonight, we might even do a show tomorrow. <laughs> might we, pal? We might do. Do us a favour, make sure you take care, but most of all, keep the faith. Yeah, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me too.